not a fan of these at-home derma rollers. And I'm gonna use this to show you why. This is a close-up look at an at-home derma roller device. These little needles actually get dragged across the skin, creating tiny little cuts and scrapes into the skin. This, on the other hand, is a stamping microneedling device. You can see how the needles go in and out of the skin. I'm using this banana to show how the different needling devices can impact the skin. On the right, I'm using the stamping device, and on the left, I'm using the derma roller in the proper way that it's supposed to be used. You can see the control punctures on the right versus on the left, how the needles drag across the skin. This just shows how most people use derma rollers in a pretty haphazard fashion. You can see how the skin can get really traumatized by dragging of the derma roller versus the stamping device is much more controlled. Derma roller use can lead to scars, hyperpigmentation, and infection in unsterile environments. What's up everyone, we're back. Dr. Maxfield, Dr. Shaw. Today, popular topic, we're talking about microneedling. Microneedling is where you poke thousands of little holes in someone's skin. It sounds great, doesn't it? But it actually has some really unique benefits and we're just gonna go over the breadth of it today. So like Dr. Maxfield was saying, microneedling, you're essentially poking a bunch of tiny little holes in the skin. By poking holes in the skin, it creates a controlled damage. And by doing that, it activates those wound healing factors in your skin and does what we call collagen induction. So by causing trauma, you actually induce collagen production in a controlled fashion. So as long as it's done in a sterile, clean environment when you're poking holes in the skin, can actually have tremendous benefit. Right, and that's what microneedling brings to the table itself. Now, here's the whole other arm of microneedling. We know that the skin is first and foremost, like Dr. Shaw said, a barrier. And half the battle of using active ingredients is actually getting them into and through the skin to be effective. So microneedling is also an awesome complementing tool to elevate other procedures. So you can use it with radio frequency, you can use it with minoxidil for hair growth, you can use it with PRP for hair growth, melasma, multiple other conditions, and it can elevate it so you have like not only better absorption, but plus this complementing mechanical side. It's a great team player. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a great team player. Right, so the number one thing that actually stops your skincare products from reaching into the dermis or in the lower layers of the epidermis that you actually wanna see the benefits of them is that stratum corneum layer of the skin. And so by puncturing it, you can introduce new ingredients into the skin as long as you're being careful. Microneedling is actually something where there has been tons of research on it. So there's like hundreds of papers on the benefits of microneedling. So you can pretty much count on it being an effective thing for your skin. I think in terms of safety, it would be the micro stamp devices. So these are a device, in fact, we have one here. We will be used as, as our demonstration. This one came from Cure. This is a great, in, they call it a micro infusion system. And so what you have here is you have your container. I've already poured a little of their serum into this. And then you take a disposable head. In this case, it's a disposable head with, I think, 24 karat gold needles. Um, and then you let the serum infuse into the needles, diffuse into it. And then once it's ready, you have this disposable head and you stamp it. Now, this one has the 0.5 millimeter depth. Oh, so it's kind of the same safety and depth in terms of like the lowest grade derma roll or derma pen. So the, the advantage of these micro infusion devices is that they poke through that stratum corneum. I would still be careful around the eye with these because this is the thinnest skin on the body, so you will get deeper penetration with this. But when you're using it on the rest of the face, you're breaking that stratum corneum, and then you're able to infuse ingredients that a lot of times have difficulty penetrating the skin. So just like when you see those microdart patches from like Hero Cosmetics or Zit Sticka, the idea is that by, by creating a little bit of an opening in the skin, you're able to in do, introduce ingredients more effectively. Effectively. So this will definitely work and there have been studies to show that this will definitely work to help your products penetrate better. But how often are you changing these tips out? So I think is like you don't want to share this with somebody else. You want to make sure that you're cleaning the skin before because they do come in like a sterile packaging. So if you're if you're changing it out frequently, you're cleansing the skin before and afterwards, and you're not going too deep, especially around the eyelids, this could be a product that you're actually going to see some benefit with. But I'm still hesitant about the risk and making sure people are using these properly because if the education is not there, 
then I'm, then I'm worried that like people would use them incorrectly. Exactly. And I totally agree with that because I think I kind of get excited. I think I get more excited than yeah, you. you love this stuff. I love the at home devices because I, I think honestly, I just love the tech and I love the idea that people can have these things available to them because honestly, they're kind of hard to come by. The, the safety thing is always there because we just see people doing very irresponsible things. And so, you know, if, if we're going to have nice things at home, <laughs> just be a grown up about it and use them correctly. You know, This is why we can't have nice things. No, I mean, that's why I'm a big fan of like LED masks at home and, and other devices like radio frequency devices at home. I do think they have benefit and I, we do want to empower you to do things at home, but just do them safely. So just watch this video and then you'll know how to do them safely. I, th I think this is a good option if you want to help to infuse your skincare products better. Make sure you're changing out the tips regularly. I mean, I still, I think most people, I want to make sure they're using it correctly. This is something I'm excited about, but I'm more cautious and hesitant than you are excited. Like he's super excited about this. And I'm like, ah, I like it because I know it's gonna work, but I also am hesitant because I wanna make sure people are using it right.